Hello everybody, my name is Chris and you're watching the Crazy Volucris. And today we are playing Dungeon Universalis. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, hit the like button, and if you ring the bell, I go crazy. We needed to reach Gondor, and Gandalf suggested we take the pass over Karadras. As we tried to overcome the mountain, a blizzard hit us hard, but which way to go? We must get off the mountain! Let's take the west road past Rohan, suggested Boromir. That road takes us too close to Isengard, said Aragorn. If we can't go over the mountain, let's go under it, through the mines of Moria, suggested Gimli. Gandalf looked at him. He was afraid of that place. The dwarves delved too greedily and too deep. With fear he remembered the terrible creature they had awakened in the depth of Kazadu. Shadow and flame. Then he spoke. Let the ring bearer decide. Frodo looked at his companions, hesitated and then spoke. We will go through the mines. So be it, replied Gandalf. Hello, and we are playing now the first episode from Dungeon Universalis, The Demon Under the Mountain, a tribute to a classics by Ludic Dragon Games. And there are some special rules in this. Um, we are playing with all nine companions. So this means, oh, sorry. So this means uh, we double the um, enemies except the leaders. Potions are already identified when we find something. We have uh, starting equipment and we can have 60 coins at the beginning of the campaign to purchase additional objects, what we want. And we got four random special objects, which are uh, have to be assigned to the character. And uh, so on the initial objects from the characters which are on the on the sheets are not interchangeable and if somebody is knocked out um, well yeah this is also special but I hope we don't need this and another special thing is the placement of the creatures is now uh, rolled so we just roll where the creatures are really placed so that's so that's a little bit different Okay, so, um, and then we start um, and buying uh, some stuff for 60 coins. But I know I just purchased everything I could get. Well, yeah, I will just evenly divide it so that everybody can have something. Uh, special objects, we got four special objects, which is... Invior, oh, what's this? Okay, you can ignore three, for three turns the penalty of wounded and recovers from stunned. Okay, and the second one is a speed potion. And we get... Ooh, another mana potion. That's very helpful. And we find a special lubricant. Ah, this class is for the engineer. We don't have an engineer, so we just take another one, a strength potion. So, very useful. And no doubt the mana potion goes to Gandalf. The strength potion goes to Aragorn. Oh no, it goes to um, Boromir. And a speed potion. I think we should give this to Legolas. This potion, I think we will give this to Frodo. And we start the adventure. The heroes walked up the path along the gorge, trying not to take a false step that might plunge them into the abyss. Gimli talked non-stop of the majestic halls of the city and the warm welcome that awaits them there. His cousin Bali has reclaimed the halls of their ancestors. Soaked to the bone, we all wanted to get to the west gate as soon as possible. So we got the first turn for the heroes. 
and in this scenario we got Storm. We get minus one shoot, minus one movement, minus one dexterity and minus one perception. Aragorn will activate, so now he got a movement of five, but he will just move two squares to stay in the safe zone. And that's it. We'll activate next to Mary. We'll just turn up here. Pippin, go over here. Boromir got a move of five, so he got only a move of four. So you move up to here. Then we got uh, Gimli. Gimli is also very slow, so you got only a movement of three, but he will run. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he can run six. So we will stand over here. And we will activate Gandalf, who will also run. So he will run over here. And we just do. And then Legolas will just go up here. So it's very crowded, like you see, with nine, with nine companions. But this is our heroic first turn. So nothing special will happen. Uh, so the ADP got his first round, nothing happens. And we start our second round. And in this round, we just um, go with Gimli, steps up and uses his action to reveal the next section and unlike in my other playthroughs i i will totally use now this dice we have 200 vp so we need to re-roll those for um obstacle and for the um, enemies so first of all we roll if there is an obstacle and there is an obstacle we got three kinds of obstacle in this scenario on a 104 is a rock slide, on a 5 it's a pit, on a 106 it's a stake. Just roll one die to see what you did. It is... It's a 6. <laughs> it's... Stake. So we have to... You have to... Um, um, try to uh, see this because of the 200 VP it's... Um, it's a 10, he needs a 10. And his spotting is a zero, but I have to check he got a special skill. He's an expert trapper. Yeah, he got a plus one perception for um, disarming and detecting traps. So he needs a 10 because of the VP. He needs an 11 because of the storm. And he got a plus one, so he needs a 10. Spot the stake, Gimli. Well, that's a nine. Okay, um, we use one of our, uh, I don't have any tokens, so I use this, those grid tokens from Shadows of Brimstone for the um, new, they're uh, called feed points from the news, from the new rulebook. Yeah, so here, are the feed points. So uh, just give me plus one. So now he, he got a 10, so he spotted the trap. And then he needs to disarm it, so he needs uh, normally a 6. Uh, because of the storm he needs a 7, and he got a plus 1 due to his skill, so he needs a 6. And I have to check out if it's also or trap secrecy difficult to detect and deactivate by 1. Okay, so um, he needs a 6 due to the storm, a 7, an 8, so he needs a 7. He needs a 7 to disarm it. Do it. And that's the seven. Okay. So he disarmed the stakes. He, he spotted it and he disarmed it so nothing will happen. And then we roll if there are any creatures. No, there are no creatures. Boromir will just go just to stay in the safe zone. Then I will run with Gandalf. Ooh, only three. So that means he can eight, but he just moves up to here and stay in the safe zone. Aragorn, who will run as well. We run with Mary. Yeah, there you go. So he can run eight, run up to here. Then we run with Sam. Oh. He makes a blunder, so he can move only half, so that's uh, two squares. He stumbles and he 
just stays here. Then we got um, Frodo. Now I can run eight. So he steps up here. We run with Pippin. That's enough. So Pippin can run eight as well. So he'll run up to here. And then we run with Legolas. That's also nice. So he can run 10. So he run up to here. Then the round is over and the second round for the ADP starts, but there is nothing to do. And we start with the third round for the heroes. And first of all, this time I will start with Legolas. So basically you get a plus three. So that's good. Okay, we start with Legolas. Um, he's the first. He activates and with his action, he reveals the new section. And therefore, he uses, uh, he rolls, first of all, an obstacle die. And there is an obstacle. Oh, nice. So, what do we got here? We got another stake. Okay, so. Oh, oh. There are plenty of stake. Okay, so now we got normally a nine, but he got plus three on the roll. So basically he needs an eight. Okay, barely. So now he uh, now he can disarm it. So he needs um, a seven, an eight, and he got, no, nothing. He got nothing. So he, woo, he needs an eight again. Oh, that's a seven. Uh, all right, we just have to use one. So that's an eight and that's this armed. Okay, now we can reveal the section. So there um, is the special element, a spider web. This narrow, slightly sheltered corridor of earth is covered with thick cobwebs. It's so sticky that the heroes can barely move forward. It seems that these shined arachnids are well aware that potential victims will be walking through here. There's a spiderweb, so there, there are no creatures in this uh, section. So this section is covered in cobweb and is regarded as difficult terrain. The duck player will roll the start of each next turn 1d6 for each character that is in or has moved through the section in the last turn. 2d6 if the character ran inside the section during his activation or is alone. With each result of a 6, a great spider will appear in a corner at the duck player's choice randomly if he's an artificial player. No more than four spiders may be spawned in this room during this quest. The initial roll will be resolved in the usual way each time a new spider is spawned. Spider ignore the difficult terrain of this section. All right, so, uh, and we are now, um, because we have to double it, there will be eight spiders maximum for us. And I have your lovely spiders. They are, ooh. Okay, okay. So this was um, Ligolas. He just reveals a section with his action and he can move. And he, uh, besides, he ignores uh, this difficult terrain. So he can move um, five. So he will, he will just stand here in this corner. All right, so then Aragorn. I think we have to make the passage safe for everybody else. So he will just go in here and stand over there, just looking in this direction. If there are any spiders coming, he can block them off. Ah, yeah, and we have to count. Uh, so right now we got um, 2d6 for the spiders, one for Legolas and one for Aragorn. So this was Aragorn. Okay, so we will activate Samwise Gamgee because he's a little bit behind and he will run. Normally get a move of four due to do the weather. So he can maximum run eight, what he will. So we just will stand up here in front and 
just wait. Then we will run with Gimli. Gimli is got only a speed of six by this weather and he can run six maximum. Um, so yeah. And he will run and step inside. So he's running. And so he adds two more die to the pool. This was Gimli. Okay, so Gimli could not enter this. So I blocked off. I blocked off the passage. That's not very good, but you know. Okay, but he did not run in because he could not. So then we, uh, yeah, we will activate Gandalf. We got uh, five movements. So that's one, two, three, four. So he can just step in as well. Um, and he will turn this side. So we have one more die because he entered this space. And I guess we will just move up with the other characters because we can't do anything. So, all right. So this will turn three now. Turn three for the ADP. We have to roll. 3d6. For every six, a spider will appear. No six, no spiders. Okay. Then we got round number four. Well, yeah, we have to run with Gimli because he got only a movement of three. Gimli will run. Oh no, he blundered. <laughs> so he can only make half his movement. That's 1.5, so he, he could not enter. He's, he's stumbling around here and could do nothing. We activate Gandalf. Gandalf got a movement of five, so he can uh, move two squares. He moves just two squares over here. Turn around. That's it. So he moved. Got one die to the pool. That's it. Aragorn just waiting here and protecting. So he just adds one die to the pool because he's in here. Just like Legolas, he's just waiting. He also adds one die to the pool. Or maybe he could, yeah, he could, he could explore. Yeah, why not? Let's do this. He explores the next section. And there is an obstacle once again. Okay, we, we roll which obstacle it is. It is a two and a two is a rock slide. So it's detected by an 11 and he got plus three. So he needs an eight. Oh, okay. So this is not detected. And this means eight damage die minus the character's agility. Okay, so Legolas got an agility of four, so he got four damage die. And every four is a wound. It's only one wound. Then we will reveal the next section, which is... And we roll if there are any uh, creatures. And there are creatures and we have to roll which creature are coming it's a three so that's enemy spotted and i have to roll and the enemy spotted oh and this is considered um a large section so if we ro have rolled a six there would be a special creature but we are lucky and we got here enemy spotted so we roll 1d6 plus one for every 30 VP, so give it a plus three, and because it's uh, a, a big um, section, it's a plus four. So then it's a 10. A 10 is six great spiders. So here we go, six great spiders, and I have to roll where they are coming. So that's 10 and four. I just roll those two dice. So the D8 is my D4. So it's a six, a three. Here one. Five, seven. I like the new placing system. Already six spiders here. So now we have to do an initiative test. So the great spider luckily got a zero, but we got a minus one due to the fact of the weather. So it's only a plus one. So we got plus one. 
so we did not caught them by surprise. Although we, we did, we did. Both die must be above their intelligence. First of all, I have to admit that there must be 12 spiders and not only six because we have to double the amount of spiders, but I don't have that much models. So I will just um, use the the scorpions for my additional spiders. So um, yeah, we have to roll where the other six spiders are. Okay, so now it's getting really crowded. So now, and they lost the initiative. We caught them by surprise. So we just turned them around. And uh, due to the fact that it was in the middle of the turn, they're just losing their next activation. Now we have to get going uh, with, we start with, with Sam. He got a movement of five, so only a four, so he can only go two squares. So he goes two squares over here, which add another die to the pool. And then we start with Boromir, who got a movement of four, and he will run. He needs to run. Oh. So he can run. So he just stands here and he run into the section. So we get two more die for the section. So this was Boromir. Then we move Mary. Now we have to move Pippin. You can go four. That's it. Then we move with Mary. Oh, and they both add one die to the pool pool is getting bigger and now Frodo. Frodo is just stepping up to here. That's it. Then we are done. Now round four for the ADP. They lost the initiative so they losing their activation. They do nothing. nothing, And we have to roll if there are coming any spiders in this section. For every six. So we got three spiders. Very good. So right now I'm running out of anything. So we'll just use th those two and just the web um, for the other spiders. So, and we got three places and we're just doing here. One, two, three. So that's it, but they can activate. They are coming and they are activating as far as I understood this. Yeah, they will just appear and they can activate. And so the target priority is enemy with the lowest um, armor and health and then the closest. So we got here, uh, Aragorn got an armor of four and Gimli got an armor of five. So they both, um, this one will attack Aragorn. They got a fight of three and Aragorn got a fight of five. So he's plus two ahead. Whoa, and this is perfectly blocked. The second attack will go to Gimli because uh, he Argon was already attacked. And Gimli got uh, his battle axe, so he got only a fight of four with the battle axe, so he's plus one ahead. But this is also blocked. The third and the Hobbit got the lower hell, uh, vitality, so the spider attacks uh, Sam, who is equipped with a short sword. Yeah, and this is a minus one while defending, so only he only got a fight of three as well. So they both get a fight of three. And he blocked perfectly. This was the round for the ADP, and now we got round number five for the heroes. Yeah, I will start with Gimli. Gimli just moves in. So we get one die for the spider spawning. And due to the fact that he's a, a combat master, he can attack two times. All right, and he will attack uh, these, this spider in front of him. He got a fight of four, so he's plus one ahead. And he will hit the spider, but unfortunately not with a critical. But I hope this will be enough because the double-handed gives him plus two strength, so we get six damage die and he reduces the armor by one so every three is a wound that's three wounds so the spider got a vitality of four which means 
this spider is wounded. And then he attacks with the second attack the other spider. Once again, plus one ahead. And this time he misses. This was Gimli. Then Aragorn, I think he will just finish off this spider just to get to be sure. So Aragorn is uh, plus two ahead. But this is a miss. Aragorn just activated in this section, so there's one more. Then uh, Sam is activating and he's attacking this spider. He got a fight of four, so he's plus one. And he hits the spider. Okay, so every three is a wound. He got a strength of two. So he gets two damage die. And every three is a wound. Oops. And there's whopping two wounds. Okay, this one has got two wounds. This was Sam. So I have to do this. I have to step up. They are still facing the back to us. And he will attack the spider from the back. He's using his elven, elven sword, two-handed. So, which means they got uh, um, an extra damage die. And he got a fight of five, so he got a plus two, plus three from behind. So that's a five, plus three, it's an eight, so that's a hit. But unfortunately, not both die are higher than the agility of the spider, so he have no second attack. But I hope I could kill one of this spider. So that's six damage die. And every four is a wound. Oh, this one kills the spider right away. I'm not pretty sure if he steps. Yeah, he will step up. So I will activate Gandalf. We will just cast Light Spear, which costs him one mana. You have to make his casting roll. He got an intelligence of six, or only a four is needed. That's done. So that's four damage die against the intelligence of the target. You got a range of six. And the fact that they got intelligence of zero, this will be four damage and will kill this spider. And then I think he will just move in. So he moved out. There will be another die. Come on, Boromir. Just do it. You got a movement of four. So he just steps up one and attacks this spider. So he moved. He got a fight of five. But this one is defended. Then we have Pippin got a movement of four. One, two. So he steps up over here. So he moved in this section, adding one die. Can move over here. And he uh, swaps to his sling. And then he attacks the spider but he moved and with the sling it's also a minus one so he got a minus three and he got a shooting skill of five so only a two so an eight will hit oh that's a seven that's a seven come on one point that's an eight and he hits with a critical so that's four damage die and every four is a wound And he kills the spider. Pippin, very good. So we, so this was Pippin. We move Frodo. We got a five, uh, four. Just moving up here, adding one die. And Pippin just moves up, adding one die. That's it. That's it for the round. Okay, let's see what they're doing. So Gandalf is in a bad spot because all three spiders would attack him. So two attacks on him and one attack on Legolas because they choose the lowest health. And we start with the first attack to Gandalf. Got a fight of four. I have to check with his power broadsword. 
Everything is quite good, so we got a fight of four, so he's plus one ahead. First attack. Oh, that's a hit. This is a hit. Come on, he's in invulnerable. So they need a crit to hit him anyway. <laughs> ah, come on. Second attack on him. Nothing. And one attack to um, uh, Legolas, who got a fight of five, so they are minus two, or he's plus two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and now they hit with a critical. So that's four damage die, and every four is a wound. Really? Okay, so he had a, to spend a fortune to avoid this this damage completely. On a four plus, this is avoided. Yeah. So he used his first fortune, so he's got, still got four. All right, and um, over here we got these um, two spiders. One is attacking Gimli. He got a fight of four, and the spider only got a fight of two because the spider is wounded. So he's plus two ahead. So that's a six, it's a eight, and it's an eight, so that's the same. And he got an agility of one, but the spider got an agility of three. So the spider hits. So that's three damage die, and every five is a wound. And this is one wound. Okay, so now one wound. And we have to roll if this goes through the natural armor. But he is also tough, which means he the roll uh, must be one higher than normal. So on a four, he's poisoned. No, he's not. He is tough. Okay, and this attacks Aragorn, so Aragorn is plus two, so that's uh, defended. I um, totally forgot to roll for the spider web at the beginning from the fifth turn. So these are the dice, and every six is a spider, and we got none. This is good. <laughs> we already got plenty, too, so... This helps a little bit and this was the round for the uh, ADP and now we go in round number six for the heroes. And the first thing I will do is I start with Gimli because of his um, skill of combat master. He can attack twice so he will attack first his wounded um, giant spider which got a fight of two and he got a fight of four so he's plus two ahead and he got a seven and that's a seven uh, but uh, the reason he's got plus two ahead so he hits normally he got a strength of four and the, the battle axe uh, gives him uh, plus two he reduces the natural armor by one so every three is a wound which will chop this spider in half and with his second attack he will attack this spider but this spider is not wounded so he got only a plus one but this is also hit with one critical which is very nice so that's seven damage die and every three is a wound oh yeah and there's a four wounds which will which will kill the spider right out. Yes. So this was Gimli and um, this was his attack and now he can move but he moves just one back so he gives one die for the spider web. All right and then we um, continue here with Ligulas. He will attack the spider just in front of him. He's attacking a two hand with his elven sword and he got a fight of five and the spider's got a fight of three so he's plus two ahead oh and this is a hit with a critical that's very good we need this so he got a strength of three and with his alvin sword he get three a uh, plus three as well double-handed and one for the crit so that's seven damage die and every four is a wound so that's one two three wounds and the spider is wounded. 
So because both of his uh, uh, attack die were higher than the agility from the spider, he got a second attack, and he will just attack this uh, the spider again. But this time he misses. Um, next up, um, Gandalf will cast. Here we go. Flashing weapon. Choose a friendly character weapon. It can be used twice per turn without any penalties. Casters may perform an attack action using this weapon even the same turn the spell was cast. So he cast this on himself. Yeah, and this would cost one mana. I will mark this. He got an intelligence six and it's only a four. Oh, and this lasts for three turns. That's the higher die. And now he can attack the spider. And first of all, he will attack the spider in front of him. He got a fight of four and the uh, giant spider, um, and the great spider got only a fight of three. So he's plus one ahead. And this is a hit with a critical. He got a strength of three. His power of broadsword gives him plus one and one for the critical, but um, he reduces the natural armor, so he uh, every three is a wound. That's three wounds, which will wound this spider as well. And then he, yeah, I think he will just uh, attack the same spider. And now the spider got a minus one because uh, the spider is wounded, and so he's a plus two ahead. And hits and with another critical. That's nice. That's also five damage die, uh, and every three is a wound. And this will kill the spider. And he stepped up. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Oh, come on, and he's turning this way. That was Gandalf. Now Boromir will activate and he will go. He got a movement of four. One, two, that's enough. And he will attack. So he can attack those two spiders because he's also a combat master. Uh, first of all, he um, generates one die for the spider web. And then he attacked this Diana really. He got a fight of five, so he's plus two ahead. And this is a 10, so he uh, hits with a critical. We got a strength of four, he gets one for the critical. And he got a broadsword, and this is also another one, so he got plus, he got six damage die. And every four is a wound. And these are four wounds which kill the spider and but he will not step up he will just uh, attack with his combat master the second spider over here so he's plus two and hits with another critical which also makes six damage try and every four is a wound and that's three wounds i'll well, just put this over here that's for the spider it was Boromir. Very, no, very good. Very good turn, Boromir. So then uh, we activate Frodo and he's just making one step and turning around just to be sure maybe he needs to do something. So he, he moved, he generates one um, die. Then Aragorn is just moving two steps and looking this direction. So he generates one more die. Then we activate, I think we will activate Mary. We will go just one step, look in this direction, generating one die. Then we get Pippin, who's waiting over here, doing nothing. Sam also stays here, but he's also generating one die. And that's it. That's for the round. Now we got round six for the ADP, so we generate the spiders and there are two spiders so we have to roll where they are coming one two three four five six seven eight one is here and the second one is one is also here 
and they can activate right away and should both act, attack Gimli. So they are, and Gimli is plus one ahead. So the first spider, but he defended bravely. And the second spider is attacking him. And this is a hit. So they got three damage die and every five is a wound. No wounds. So this spider, oh, I have not, um, this spider can attack actually Frodo. Oh, I, this, oh, oh, this was a very, very bad decision to turn us back to the spider that the spider tries to attack Frodo from behind. He's armed with a short sword. He gets a minus one while defending with the short sword and minus one because of the, so you get only a, a fight of one. So the spider is ahead plus two. <clears throat> Oh, and this is a hit with a critical. So that's four damage die and every four is a wound. That's one wound. And now we have to check if he gets poisoned. No, he's not. That's nice. But he got one wound. So this was this spider and those two spiders attacking uh, Gandalf. I know those, this spider will attack Gandalf, this spider will attack Boromir. So we make the attack to for Gandalf. So they needed a, a crit, so they don't hit, and the other for Boromir, and he got plus one, and he easily defended. The others, ah, and there we got here one spider, and she will attack with the lowest armor, which is Gandalf, but he, she needs a critical. But you get no critical, that's it. Or maybe here the spiders will just move up a little closer. That's it. This was round number six and round number seven for the heroes. I will start with Gimli. He will attack this spider. So he's ahead plus one. That's oh. a miss because um, the spider's got a higher dexterity. And the second attack, he will attack this spider. And this time he hits with a critical. Nice. So that's seven damage die and every three is a wound. That's enough to kill the spider. Ah oh, yeah, and he activated, so he generated one die for the for the spider web. I think I will start with Boromir. Yeah, and Boromir will attack this spider, which is already wounded. Oh. And Boromir got a fight of five, and the spider got now only a fight of two. So he's plus three ahead. He got an agility of two and the spider got an agility of three, so he missed. And with the second attack, he attacks uh, the other spider over here. So he's plus two ahead. This time he hits and he can re-roll that one because he's elite, but it's, it's a normal hit. It's a normal hit. He got five damage die with his broadsword and every four is a wound. That's two wounds. Two wounds for the spider. But then we start with um, Gandalf. Get two more rounds with the flashing blades. So he can attack twice. First he will attack this spider. So he got a fight of four and the wounded spider only a fight of two. So he's plus two ahead. And this time he hits with a critical. So that's five damage die and every two, uh, every three is a wound. Yeah. This is way enough to kill the spider. And with his second attack, oh yeah, he will, and he will step in. And with the second attack, he attacks this spider. Oh. But this is a miss. So Aragorn, he will just step up, generating one die for this. Spider weapon, he attacks this spider. So he's ahead plus two. And he hits, but no critical, but this does nothing. So it's four, and with his power, so plus three. Every four is a wound. Well, that's four wounds, which kill this spider. 
Oh, a little Aragorn. Now we activate Legolas. He will attack this wounded spider. So you get a fight of five and the spider only two. So that's plus three. And this is a hit with a critical. Three strength, plus three for the sword and plus one for the critical. Every four and this will kill the spider. And he will step up. It was Legolas. I think we'll activate Boromir. He will go just steps one and attack this already wounded. And then he can, with a second attack, he can attack this spider. Plus two. That's a miss. And the other spider, he can reroll that one because he's elite. This is a hit with one critical. That's six damage die. And every four is a wound. That's three wounds. Now the spider is wounded. This is Boromir. Then I will activate Frodo. We'll just step up over here and he will step this. This spider already got two wounds. He got a fight of four. So he got plus one. And he hits. And he hits. But they got only a strength of two. And the short sword makes minus one, so every three is a wound. He can kill the spider. So this is one wound. And two wounds. Uh, the spider is killed. Very nice. But he will just stay here for safety reasons. And then we got Mary. A movement of four. He moves over here, generating one die for the spider web. And Sam go one, two over here, and generating also one for the spider web. And Pippin just stays over here, doing nothing. And that's it. That's the round. Now we got round number seven for the ADP. He rolls for the spider. Four die. And one spider will appear. Oh, I can't believe. Where's the spider appearing? Over here. And she will move in. And she will attack Aragorn. Because he got a lower armor. It's an eight, it's a ten. And uh, he is plus two. So that's the same, but and they got the same agility. So in this case, the defender win this game. So this, he defended. All right, and then we can move the spider one up. So we got one spider attacking Gandalf, a second spider attacking Gandalf. This one is attacking Frodo and this one is attacking Boromir. So we have two attacks to Gandalf. They need a crit. Oh, this is a hit with a crit. I can't believe it. Oh, four damage die. That's not good. And every three is a wound. And Gandalf takes three wounds. And we have to check on a three or higher, he's poisoned. Oh. <laughs> Lucky. Okay, he got three wounds. Second attack on uh, Gandalf. I can't believe this. This is the second attack, the second hit with a critical. The second hit. That's three, which will kill him. So we can just make uh, use a fortune point to avoid the damage on a four plus. Yeah. Okay. So we have to use a fortune point. So you got three fortune points left. Okay, this spider is attacking Frodo. He got only a fight of three while defending with a short sword. So that's an even, even roll. Mm. So he will just spend one of his feet points to make this a, um, a five. And therefore, um, because he got the same agility uh, like the spiders, he defended this blow. And now the last attack is on. Uh, Boromir, but this one is uh, wounded, so he got five against the two, so he gets plus three. Yeah, and this is easily defended. I will start with Gimli, who will make his attack. 
on the spider. So he is a plus one. And he missed. Aragorn attacks, he's plus two. This is a hit with a critical, which is nice. So you have four with his power sword plus three and one critical. It's eight damage die and every four is a wound. And this is only three wounds, which will wound this spider, but not kill it. So um, this is the third round, the last round with flushing blades from Gandalf. Got a fight of four, so he's plus one, and he attacks this spider to his right. And he hits, but this is no critical, but this is okay. That's four damage die with the power broadsword, and uh, every three is a wound. That's two wounds. And with his second attack, he attacks the same spider. This is a hit, I mean, it was really crappy, but it is a hit. But this time it's only four damage die, and every three is a wound. And this kills the spider. Will he step up? Yeah, he will step up. Why not? We need to get going over here. The next uh, Frodo will just go one space and attack this spider. So he got a fight of four. He's plus one ahead. And he hits with a critical. So that's three damage die and every three is a wound. But it's one wound. I just lay it on, no, I just do it over here. Then next, Boromir will attack this spider. She's wounded, so he's plus three. Yeah, and this is a hit. That's five damage die and every four is a wound. That's one wound, but this is enough to kill it. And this time he will step up and then he attacks. Then he attacks um, this spider with his second attack. And, okay, this was a four, so it's a seven, but this is also a hit. No critical. It's five damage die and every four is a wound. That's two wounds. Okay, this was Boromir. Legolas steps up. Make one attack. He's also plus two. Oh, this is a double crit. Very nice. And both, so he's a battle dancer, so he can make a second attack. So you get three for the strength, three for the weapon, two for the criticals, and every four is a wound. This will chop the spider more than in half and he may take this place and attack with a second attack this already wounded spider so it's plus three and this is a hit no critical but he don't i hope he don't need it because this is six damage die and every four is a wound and that's two wounds just enough to kill this spider as well Okay, so this was Legolas. Now we got um, Mary. Mary, just step up and attack this spider. So it's plus one. But this time the spider defender because she got the same agility. Pippin is going back two steps. And Sam just stays, and goes step back one step. That's it, that's the round. We got round eight for the uh, ADP. We got only these two guys here. And no spiders. This spider will attack uh, Aragorn. And uh, Aragorn is, uh, this spider is wounded. So he got a fight of two and he's got a fight of five. So he's plus three. So that's a 12, so that's defended. And this spider will attack the lowest armor or lowest health. In this case, it is Frodo. And so the spider will attack Frodo. And he got only a fight of three with uh, the short sword defending. So that's even. Oh, and 
this is a blunder. No, he dropped his sword. We have to see if the, if, if the short sword is breaking on a one. It's not. So that's a hit. That's three more damage die for Frodo. And that's two damage. So he got right now three damage. And we have to check if he is um, wound, uh, poisoned. No, he's not. <laughs> this was... Oh, lucky, lucky. So that's the round for the ADP. And now we got round number nine for the heroes. We start with Aragorn. He's got plus um, four because the spider is wounded. Need plus three, sorry. Oh, that's a seven. And it's a five plus three is an eight, so it's a hit. Seven damage die, and every four is a wound. And this is enough to kill the spider. After his attack action, he moves. And he got a move of five. And he's just moving up to here. So he generates one die for the web. Then Gimli will activate and he will run. So Gimli got a move of three, so that's six. And he will just protect this, so he generates two more dice for this spider web. And I will start with... Um, here, Legolas will attack the spider. He is plus two. Oh, and the spider defended. Gandalf will activate. He's plus one. Uh, luckily, he hit four die, and every three is a wound. So that's three wounds, and she is wounded. So it's Gandalf, and then we we finish the, we we seal the deal with Boromir, and he got now plus three, and this is a hit. That's five damage die, and every four is a wound. This is enough to kill this last spider and after his action he will move up to here now we activate Sam and he got the skill first aid and with first aid he um, he can heal two wounds which he will do on Frodo to get rid of two wounds so he got only one and then uh, he's moving you gotta move a four moves up to here oh, yeah he can do this first at two times in the uh, in this mission so uh, this was Sam just moving over here and uh, Pippin over here and then last but not least we got Frodo also with uh... oh, yeah he will he will consume one of uh, the uh, provisions and heal his last wound and then he moves over here that's it this was the round now we got round nine for the adp so this will be the last roll i hope let's see if some more spiders will appear oh my gosh yeah there one more spider and we check where the spider is one two over here and she at one six so we just go up here and then she attacks Aragorn. Oh no. So he's hit with a critical. So that's four damage die, and every four is a wound. That's one wound. One wound for Aragorn. And we have to check if he is poisoned on a three, four, five, or six. Oh, and he is poisoned. Okay, so this was uh, round number nine for the ADP. And now we got round 10 for the heroes. And we start once again with Gimli who will attack the spider. So he's plus one. Oh, there's one die missing. Oh, this is uh, a miss. Oh boy, Gimli. Next up we start with uh, Aragorn, but he is now a poisoned, which means when he's poisoned, he got um, minus one to all attributes. So this is also minus one strength and minus one fight. So he only got a fight of four. So he's only plus one. 
but this is enough to hit the spider so he got only a strength of three but plus three from his sword so it's six die and every four is a wound and this killed the spider this was aragorn gandalf will go one step and he will cast healing light on aragorn needs a four to cast it that's enough. So he heals up to four wounds and also any condition. So he's totally fresh. So that was Gandalf. This cost one mana. Yeah. Some will go four. He will go back to Gandalf and make uh, this his second uh, first aid and heal him two wounds. So he's only got one wound. So we got Gandalf got one wound, Legolas got one wound, and Gimli got one wound. So this was Sam. Oh yeah, why not? And then um, Legolas will just step up here and will, um, with his action, reveal the next section. So we have to roll if there is an obstacle. And there is an obstacle. And it is a five. What means a five? So five is, it's a pit. Okay, so he needs an, a 9 to detect it, and he got uh, minus 1 due to the weather, and minus 1 due to the DBP we got. But he's also an eagle eye and a hunter, so you got plus 3. On a 6 he can detect it. Yeah, and it is detected, so he can avoid it and reveal the next section. And then we have to roll if there are any creatures. And no, and there are no creatures. This was um, Legolas. Then we start with Mary. Stands over here. And um, with his action, he, he's looting the spiders. So, um, yeah, we, we totally forgot to loot. So there were 12 spiders and some more in the, uh, in the other section. Oh my God, there were three, four, five, six, uh, no, just take six. And we are looking for sixes. We don't need the coins, but possibly maybe that we got special objects, uh, which we want to have in this situation. Good, one, two, three, four, five sixes that's nice this is a random magic object so i don't know because i mean um, a random magic objects we got uh, normal magic objects and magic objects armor uh, and stuff like this but um okay i would say i roll it off one two three five to six so it's a normal this one and I take what we found, we found a smart rope. Gets plus two agility while climbing allows the building of footbridge in the combination with one pickaxe. In this case, the rope is not maybe used to help other characters jump over or get out of pit. Never breaks. Well, this is, this is really actually one of the best things we could uh, find here in this in this case because we have your pickaxes but i'm not sure if we should use this i think we make this with a normal i have to check this in the rule book how we how we have to solve this now we got um pippin that goes over here frodo and boromir who will just step up because he's not jumping he got an agility of two so he needs help uh, okay this was the round and around 10 for the adp there is nothing happening and now we got round 11. so we got here the cliff a cliff two squares wide oh this is just one square wide um characters may jump to the other side with a great jump or minus one to the agility but this is only one square, so this is not a minus one to the agility. But still, 
if they fall, they are knocked out. So this would be fatal. So therefore we, um, I guess, will build us a bridge, a footbridge in combination with one pickaxe. So um, I'm, I'm not pretty sure if I will do this right. I, I will just rule it like this, that we, that one character must jump over and then they can build the bridge and then everybody can pass normally. Then I would start with Ligulas. He's the most skilled one. You just go one and jump over. Therefore you must pass an agility test. He got an agility of four. So he needs a six. And he got a seven. So he passes the jump. That's his movement. And with, uh, with his action, we will just um, build this rope with the pig's axis so they are disposed after that. Now they got a bridge over here. Boromir will activate. Um, so you got only a movement of four. There's one, two, three, four. Then we activate Sam. It's going just two squares. Then we have um, Gimli. He will run. That's enough. So he can run six. Then we activate Aragorn, who can walk five. And we have Gandalf, who's almost just going over here. Frodo, just stepping over here. And Merry and Pippin just closing in. That's for the round. In round number 11, there's nothing for the ADP. And we are in round number 12. And I will start with Boromir, which is go two steps. And we got um, Legolas, just go one step. Then we have Frodo, who will run. So he can run eight. Got only seven. Pippin is running. Can run eight. Then we got Mary, who's also running. Eight. Then we start with Gimli, who's running. <clears throat> Six. Then we got Aragorn, who's running. And then we got uh, Sam, who's running. And then we got Gandalf, who's also running. And that's it. We're on trail 12 for the ADP. There's nothing. Round 13 for the heroes. So we start with Frodo. We can go four, but only up to here to stay in the safe zone. Then we start with Pippin, who will run. Oh, that's only seven. But he will go only up to here, staying in the safe zone as well. Then uh, Boromir will run. So he can run eight, but he got no action left. And then uh, Gimli will run and run six. And we got Legolas who's running. Then we got Gandalf who's running. Sam, Sam is running. Mary will just walk. And Aragorn is running. Just running up to here. And that's it. Round 13 for the ADP is nothing. Round 14. So now I start with Legolas. Legolas with his action will reveal. So we have to roll for an obstacle. And there's no obstacle. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And then we roll if there are any creatures in the next uh, section. And there are not. We suffered a lot. And this is quite nice that we don't have any creatures in the next section. All right then. This was his action. Now he can uh, still move. 
and he can move, so he moved, just move one, two. Then Boromir will activate and go four, just to stay in the safe zone. Then we start with Pippin, he will run. Oh yeah, he can run. So Pippin can run eight, but he also stays in the safe zone. Then we activate Gimli, will run as well run six only up to here then Mary is running oh <laughs> and he stumbles all right so he can only move two then we got Sam who's running okay so he can run eight Gandalf is running so he's running nine so he's running up to here. The Frodo's activating, he's just stepping up to here. And then uh, Aragorn is running. Can run up to 10. And he's up to here. So we got round number 14 for the ADP and round number 15 for the heroes. And we start with uh, Mary. Mary is running. <coughs> now he can run eight. And then we run with Frodo, also eight maximum, right? Then we got Legolas running. Who can run 10 and he's out. Then we run with Sam, can run eight and he's out. Then we run with Gimli. We can run six. And we can run with Boromir. And Boromir can run eight. So and he's out as well. Then we can run with Pippin. Now we just go over here. That's it. Yeah, the, this, this was the round. Round 15, nothing. Round 16. And we, we start with Gimli. We want the draft to get out. That's it. Then we start with Mary. He's running. We can run eight. Is out. Then we run with Pippin. Is out. But Frodo gets out. And they both running out. We seem to have escaped those dreadful spiders, and the path now descends slightly. We can rest for a while, Gandalf says. Yeah, the best gate should be close, Gimli confirms.